Welcome back to our channel Tech Tricks Info. In today's quick tutorial, we'll walk you through how to inspect, repair and replace a crankshaft oil seal. If you are experiencing oil leaks or if you want to ensure that your engine is in top shape, this guide is perfect for beginners. Let's dive in. And also this is our sixth video on this series. So our first video is on inspect crankshaft and how to determine if it needs a repair replacement or reuse so this is the sixth part of this video where we are especially talking about wear on oil seal and in detail about it so if you want to have a look at the other videos please have a look at my description or go to my channel let's continue first we'll talk about preparation for inspecting the wear on an oil seal on a crankshaft first let's talk about tools needed wrench sets screwdrivers crankshaft seal pullers new crankshaft seal oil seal lubricants and clean racks what are the safety precautions ensure that your engine is off and cool make sure that you disconnect your batteries to prevent accidental start of the vehicle to be safe second we'll talk about inspection first we have to locate the crankshaft oil seal it's typically found in the region where the crankshaft exits the engine block now let's check for leaks let's look for oil pooling or drips around the seal area this will indicate a worn or damaged seal inspect the seal surface examine the seal and the crankshaft for grooves cracks or wear third now we'll talk about removal first let's remove the accessory components depending on your engine you may need to take off your timing belt pulley or other components now we need to extract the old seal we need to use a crankshaft seal puller for this job this will help you to gently remove the old seal make sure not to damage the surrounding components fourth is preparation for the new seal let's clean the area first so make sure that you wipe down the crankshaft and its surrounding area with a clean rag. Lubricate the new seal. Apply a light coat of oil seal lubricant to the new seal to ease installation. Fifth, we'll talk about installation. Okay, now we'll talk about positioning the new seal. So first you have to place the new seal in position. We have to ensure that it aligns correctly with the crankshaft and the seal housing. Now we need to use a seal installer to press the seal. We need to make sure that the new seal aligns perfectly with the crankshaft and the seal housing. Now you can use a seal installer or a pipe that fits the seal's outer diameter to press it evenly into place. Now it's time to reinstall the components. Put back all the parts you have removed, such as the pulley and timing belt. Now it's time for final checks. Verify your installation. Ensure that the seal is seated properly and there are no gaps. Now we need to test for leaks. Now start the engine and check for leaks around the engine. That's it. Now you have successfully inspected, repaired, or replaced your crankshaft oil seal regular maintenance like this helps to keep your engine running smoothly and this will help you to prevent costly repairs so as i said this is the sixth video on the series so all the other parts i have put links in the description below tomorrow's video will be on where on thrust surfaces on a crankshaft so please subscribe to us to see those video or watch our other videos if you like this video and it was helpful and to motivate us to make more content please give us a thumbs up and if you have any questions definitely feel free to ask questions i'll definitely respond back to you thanks for watching have a good day